After our little detour to Wales, we came back to England, this time to Oxford. It's obviously famous for its university, and predictably, that's also our main destination. For one, it really is impressive. But of course, it also houses some memorable <laughs> Harry Potter locations again. What's the best weather to visit a cove? Well, probably not this. But that was our plan for the day, to visit Malum Cove in this rain and this wind. On top of that, it was kind of hard to find as it was remote and nothing in the area looked anything like what we imagined. Some people are actually climbing up there right now. <laughs> I would never do that. I would never do that. We got thoroughly soaked through and were generally quite exhausted after visiting Mellum Cove, which, by the way, was really spectacular. Late at night, we also drove to the Golfland station also known as Hogwarts Station, but I couldn't get any good footage, sadly. Today, we only have one location on our plan, Durham. Durham is a small, relaxed town in northeast England. And I hope you're not quite tired of those English cathedrals and churches yet, because its cathedral is easily Durham's standout landmark.
last stop for this video is Edinburgh, and it's essentially our gateway to the Scottish Highlands, which you'll see in the next and last video. Apart from visiting the Greyfriars Kirkyard, we didn't have any specific locations we wanted to see here, so we just explored the city at our leisure. That includes yet another cathedral, but I promise you, it's the last one.